<clears throat> oh, that's good. That's, uh, that's the nectar of the demons. Ah, uh, well, no beating around the bush, okay? Uh, we lost the 2024 election, uh, but this, uh, this is, uh, it's been one heaven of a week, okay? I just want to say up front that uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm super proud of our team. I mean, the lies, the chaos, the hysterical push to trans everyone's kids and put tampons in the boys' bathroom. We did our best. We did our best. And uh, unfortunately, uh, God and, uh, and the Republicans um, just played a better game out there. So uh, I guess we'll take some questions. What do you think went wrong there? It seemed like Harrison Walls was a perfect candidate. Honestly, um, I could have run a drug parakeet and it wouldn't have made a difference. My Democrat followers will vote for anyone who promises them the right to kill their kids. So. Uh, the good guys just, uh, they just wanted it more, I guess. You know, the match was just kind of unfair, okay? It was a little uneven. I mean, it's not, on their side, they had the truth, the Constitution, they have prayer, and they have Zachary Levi, you know, the guy from Tangled. And at last, I've seen the light. Anyway, I know that we on our side have a lot of talent. Okay, we've got MSNBC, Joy Bayar, Rachel Maddow, CNN, Crying Jimmy Kimmel, <sighs> and all those demon possessed kids on uh, the they thems that they're screaming on TikTok right now. It's like, you know, great prospects. A lot of upside coming up through the farm leagues, you know. So, what are the plans for the Hell franchise moving forward? Um, bright future. Bright future. We'll keep trying to convince everyone that Trump's Hitler. <laughs> you know, actually, you know, actually, this is. Kind of funny. We got Hitler in a special torture chamber right over there. And he hates it when we compare him to Trump. <laughs> it's, it's funny. He's like, I'm the most evil. See, I'm the Fuhrer. He's just an orange reality star. It's, it's classic. It's classic. One of the few points of joy in my life right now. Anyway, uh, we'll probably just try to keep throwing Trump in jail and stuff and do a few more assassination attempts. Run a last ditch. Hail Mary. Pick six. You know what I mean? What's the game plan for converting Republicans to your cause? Well, actually, you know what? We did make some good headway this in this in this arena. We got David French to do that whole evangelicals for Harris thing. So it's it's, <laughs> it's really hard to say that with a straight face. Uh, so getting Christians to vote for a woman who supports baby murder is just like <laughs> ah. Uh, we have uh, let's see. We have Liz Cheney. I love her. Anyone that's a friend of war is a friend of mine. We'll just keep pushing the woke agenda to the schools to try to brainwash Republicans' kids on TikTok. You know, it's kind of like, uh, we're coming for your children. <sighs> but, but for real, we are actually coming for your children. Any other upcoming plans you can tease? Well, I mean, I mean, actually, in the, in the next four years, it's obviously going to be a rebuilding year. But, uh, I mean, that doesn't mean that we're not going to compete and uh, do a quality product and put it out there on the field every single day. See, we just released another uh, season of Rings of Power. Oh, that's great. So we're putting uh, putting uh, pronouns everywhere. That's great. Dungeons and Dragons, board games, LinkedIn, which uh, we also also created. We've got some more Blippy coming out. Nothing woke there, just uh, pain and suffering. We're working on reducing legroom and airplanes. Gosh, excited for that. Well, that's it for now. I've got a meeting coming up here uh, about Bitcoin. No idea how it works. So, yeah, you guys got to get out of here. Uh, hey, uh, Wormwood, uh, we got that uh, meeting for the Bitcoin thing. We got to clear the room. Can you just uh, release the shark bears, please? Toodles. You know, uh, even though we lost, I, I still got to thank everyone who did their best to advance my agenda. Um, Beyonce, you know, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift's cats, uh, all cats, really. They're part of my army. Megan Thee Stallion, um, Bruce Springsteen, Obama's, Eminem, everyone at Planned Parenthood, and, um, oh gosh, uh, Krasensteins. Oh, hey friends. You might be wondering how I got here. Well, I tried using an instrument in the Church of Christ. So now I have to use this harmonica as a pitch pipe in prison. It's all terrible contraband. Anyway, try liking and subscribing to Babylon B, and then maybe I'll buy my way out of here, like I'll buy my way into heaven.